Wouldn't you love to get hold of Unsplash images within your WordPress website with a free code snippet? Of course you would. That's why you're watching. Let's get on with it. You know the drill by now. You go and install the code snippets plugin, the number one plugin to have on your WordPress website. And then you go to the link, copy the code, put in a title like Unsplash, basically just paste it in, save and activate. In WordPress on your left hand side, you'll now notice an option called Unsplash Media. Go and click that. The important bit is that you do have to go and drop in an API key. Don't worry, this is how you get the Unsplash API. You go to unsplash.com, you go and create an account for free or you log in if you've already got one. You go to the three bars at the top right hand side and you go to developers API. Then click on your apps and you'll be taken over to this screen. You can see this is the one I've already created. What you want to do is click new application tick all of the boxes, accept the terms, obviously after reading them, go and add in a name, then click create application and then scroll down until you get to this bit over here called the access key. Copy that, paste it into the API key. Remember, it's the access key you want and then hit save changes. Now let's go do a search. WordPress designer, we can go for landscape or portrait. Let's just go for all for now and hit search. Images are starting to filter through and it's really quick. Look, I hit load more, load more. It's just going to keep adding them. Now you will notice there are two more options. We get full and we get download. This is where you can decide on the size. Now, if you go for small, it will be small. If you go for medium, it will be bigger. If you go for full, it could be like four by 3000 pixel uh, resolution. You go and decide and it's so easy to do. You just hit download and it downloads it for you. Now, what it won't do is automatically add them to your media library. And you might at this point go, well, doesn't that now create extra work for me because it downloads it and then I've got to add it back in? Well, this is where there is a bit of a compromise. These images are going to be pretty high resolution JPEGs or PNGs. And what you really want is to then convert them into a WebP if you're going to use them on your WordPress website. BulkResizePhotos.com, EWWWW, Optimal, there's loads of solutions, tiny BNG, things that you can use. What I strongly recommend you do is you find your images, you download them, convert them to WebP, add them back into your media library. But right now, you know, you're building a website. Oh, we really need an image for XYZ, like Happy Office. Type it in, search for it, find the image, download, convert and add it in. You're not having to now go over to another URL. And this can speed up your process of creating content for a website. Big thanks to Mark Harris, of course, you got to mention him. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life.